Yo, what's up? So, so I bought the oops. I bought the um the Romeo Zero Elite site for my Sig Sawyer P365. So if you get the Sig brand, you actually don't have to um get like a different type of plate. You can just unscrew it and then put it on there. But um I I'll get to this in a minute. So I'm gonna unbox it real quick. Got this little sharp thing. Hold up. Before we do that, hold up. Just look at the box. When enhanced features, ideal for modding. So carry pistols, carbon infused weapon grade, ultralight polymer housing, TAP. Touch activated programming and button to make the brightness changing modes. Last lens 20,000 hours of burn time. Damn. Hardened steel shroud. 3M08 red dot. <laughs> I mean, I was going to get um a, a 6M08. But this, oh, this is all they had. So yeah. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Already off with the worst unboxing of all time. Yeah, let me hold on. <laughs> like I said, the worst unboxing of all time. But I'm not even planning to keep the box anyways. So if something happens, I got the receipt. So you get the guide. You get the hardware. You get the site. Boom. I mean, you can carry it like this, but I also see people like that. I think I'm gonna carry it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and. No, let's see what this. Let's see what comes in here. Yeah, I keep hitting the camera. You get like five different sets of nails. I'll find out what's what. So that's that. Alright, so the one that the green baggy that says M3, that that'll be for the Sig Sawyer. Because the other ones are for like different ones, I think for the Glock 43, Glock 43X and the Hellcat OSP. But this one's just the regular, you know, P365. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the plate. So all you're going to do is want to unscrew it. I'll back and I'll, I'll, you know, unscrew both. Once you take them out, you can just slide this out. And I think this is going to go under it. So hold up real quick. <clears throat> My fault. So, all right. Once that, you got to clear all that out real quick. Just clean it off. Right, once it's dried off, you're going to put your heat shield on it. This is what it actually is called, the heat shield. So, there's one side, the sticky side is going to go on the, um, on the frame. So, the sticky side is going to go down. 
I want you to put your um your your heat shirt on it. Go ahead and mount this on. All right, and like I said, mine happened to be these bolts, the green one. So hold up, I'm gonna double check real quick. Oh, well, before that, go ahead and grab your battery. And it's gonna be this side. Hold up. It's gonna be the flat up and then you know facing down like that. And if not, I'll correct in a minute. Hold up. Nope, it's like this. Alright, so how how you install it is it's actually um the the bumpy side goes on right there, and then the flat part goes towards the gun. So once you already put your um you know your heat shield go ahead and put it in hold up once it's flat like that go ahead and put on the gun and um push it push it forward that's what i heard you're supposed to push it forward so mine mine actually ended up being this bag the green bag m3 the 2476 but mine's the regular six sawyer once you go put them on, go ahead and tighten them. I'll be right back. All right, so once you um, you know, um, bolt them down, I think it's supposed to be um nine inch square or something like that to um to put them down. And you can and once you do that, you can um actually like um write them down. So if it starts moving away from the line, obviously it's moving. But without that being said, there's the installation right there. But I actually ran into a problem. I actually, you know, I actually already tried it out. And I had some difficulties that nobody was talking about. So, hey, this is why I joined YouTube. So the first problem is going through the settings and turning it on. Because, well, right now it's not on, obviously, because, you know, I turned it off. Here, let me... Alright. Mm, dang, I can't even turn off the light for me. So, you're supposed to press this little button right here. One, two, three. Alright, it's on. You can see right there, it's on. So, how to, to change the um, the settings... You just, you just hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on, hold up. So once you once you tap it, all you do is press the the button in there. And it will change. And to turn it off, you hold it. One, two, three. And boom. So that was a quick little demonstration for you. Because like I said, um, I kept looking on it. I, but this is a three, the three, um, three OA, three MOA, whatever it's called. Hold up. Yeah, three, three MOA. Yeah, so this was like one something. I, I can't remember how much it was, even though I bought it today. But yeah, that's a little quick demonstration for it, because like I said, a lot of people did not show, you know, how to turn it on, whatever, whatever. Like, they did turn it on, they said what button it was, but they weren't actually showing you, so I'm going to show y'all, because like I said, this is why I joined YouTube. So yeah, that pretty much sums up the video, and um, thanks for watching.